Here we have my friend and client, Marty, 73. He had a brain clot, could barely do anything, and now he's working it out. How you feel, brother? I feel good. Feeling okay. good. Nice. Keep it up. Straight and twist. Yeah. Working those forearms, working those biceps. There you go, brother. Come on. Straight and twist. How you feeling, Marty? I'm feeling much better. You know, I had that blood clot in my brain. I had it taken out. I didn't work out for a while, but now I feel so much better. Two and cha cha cha. Look at it. One and two and cha cha cha. Come on. One and two. Move those hips, hips, hips. And one and two and cha cha cha. And one and two and cha cha cha. One. Shake that ass. Shake that ass. Tell them, I mean, obviously you've been with me, it's been, uh, what, about seven, eight months. October, November. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And, uh, I mean, again, when you started, you could barely do anything. I was... Well, you had to show me how to get out of the car, how to sit down in the car, how to uh, get off the floor if I went down. I live in a, live in a two-level home. There's always the possibility I would miss the step, and thank God I haven't. Um, but I had to do all the basics. Uh, when my wife and I would go out to dinner or a movie, we'd hold hands and she would be walking the correct line and I would be zooming off to one side and she'd have to pull me back. And this went on for months till I was able to handle the balance and just be able to stand here and not go off. Yeah, yeah. And everything that I taught you, you you'd never, you would get frustrated but you kept going and that's what I try to, you I know. I got a hard head. Yeah, and you're, you're a knucklehead. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying, I, you know, I've grown, you've made me even more patient because you have been one of the most endearing yet challenging clients I've ever had. Because guys, when you have someone that just got out of the hospital not too long ago, and you know your wife contacted me saying, look, I know you're not a therapist per se, right. but you're passionate and you love dedicating time. I said, look, I'm willing to give it a try. We gave it a try, this was not easy. But whether, and again, I say this in general, don't you agree, whether it's in a relationship with your body, your loved ones, your career, if you persist, stay consistent, mm -hmm. and not give up like Marty, anything is possible. I absolutely agree. That's probably why we work out well together. Yeah, and, and this is why we're still here. And, and another message we have to tell the world, because a lot of times my clients, they see their success stories and saying, oh, they still work with you. Yes. Why is Marty still here? Why are you still here? Tell them the message why it's important to the keep going. The message why is because even after a week, um, I start slipping back a bit and I don't like it. So I get back on the phone and I restart. And uh, I've learned not even to, to drop because it, it doesn't pay at this point. Right. And that's why. And that's exactly why you're still here. Uh, you know, Marty, Marty, we, we went stripes and he could have just said, Jason, thank you for your help. Take care. Yeah. But again, that's my point on relationships, career, body, anything in life. You gotta, when you find something that works, mm -hmm. you keep going to maintain. Same thing when I tell people, hey, you may become a millionaire tomorrow, but that's when you work harder yeah. to maintain. In my field, the, the little quip is, when you have something to do and you want something done medically, you go to the guy who's the busiest, and you think that that doesn't make sense, it's counterintuitive, but the guy who's the busiest is the one who knows how to do things and doesn't get overloaded. That's, that's it. That's it, my brother. Well, listen, thank you so much for sharing the story. I love you, man. You, uh, you are the best, Jason. Thank you. You are the best. <laughs> you make my career and my life enjoyable to wake up every day and go to sleep every day. So for that, I thank you. Yeah.